25 years ago, I was at the Houston Astrodome for a happening. Turned out it was the event of the decade. Now here in Hartford, we have a group of tennis legends who have come to remember. Bobby Riggs, the ultimate hustler and self-proclaimed male chauvinist pig, had challenged Billie Jean King. Girls play a nice game of tennis for girls, but when they get out there on a court with a man, even a tired old man of 55, they're going to be in big trouble. Bobby Riggs won Wimbledon in 1939 and the U.S. Open in 39 and 41. In the early 70s, he was still playing tennis, setting up outrageous exhibition matches and often betting on himself. Riggs would set obstacles for himself, like playing while leashed to a lion. He played mind games in promoting the battle of the sexes, getting people worked up by saying things he didn't necessarily believe. Personally, I wish the women would stay in the home and do the kitchen work and uh, take care of the babies and compete in areas where they can compete in. Times, obviously, have changed. And that's what the participants are really here to celebrate. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. The world is different. I mean, literally. You, you can't quantify it. We just know that it's better because of because Jean won. And also it gave women, I think, a little more confidence and a little more self-esteem. And, and that enabled them to go out and be more aggressive and to pursue their dreams. I honestly think the village invented women's sports. I mean, she invented the whole idea that women can compete, that women would choke under pressure, that women could take can be part of a big happening in a huge arena under enormous pressure and come up with the goods. Now to the centerpiece of this gala celebration, a chance to watch the strokes and strategy of some of the greatest women athletes of all time here to celebrate Billie Jean King. Billie Jean King coaching Team Everett, by the way. <laughs> Team Everett consisting of Chris Everett, Tracy Austin, there's a look at Billie Jean, Wendy Turnbull, Ilana Klaas. Mary Carrillo is coaching the other team that is in Everett Alova, Lena Garrison, Rosie Cassell, and Wendy Overton. This is Rosie Cassell serving to Chris Everett. Cassell from San Francisco, holder of seven Wimbledon doubles titles, including five.